in this lesson we're going to build our own web hosting business like the one you have on your screen this is the one i set up and i'm going to show you how to also set up one for free so there's a link in the description of this video when you click on that link you will be able to get or create a free account on the provider i'm about to show you so setting up a reseller hosting you need a startup capital to do it but with my link you're going to be able to get it for free so when you click on that link it's going to take you to a page just like this so scroll down a bit and then click on free reseller do not click here click on the free reseller so i'll click on it if you want you can also read everything these people have for you Go ahead and read everything and then we go back to the top and then click on start now you will be taken to a sign up form like this enter your login email so enter your email that's your web posting email your country your company's name first name and all these details after that you accept that you are not a robot and then accept their terms of service and click on sign up this hosting provider is called resellers panel so we're going to be using their service to resell to our customers okay so let me enter my details i'll just fill out the form my email is here, country, company's name, everything. I also accepted the attempts. Now I click on sign up. When the sign up is successful, you're going to see this thank you message. Thank you for signing up with resellers panel. We have sent your login details to your email so the email that you use during the sign up open that email and you receive a, an email or a welcome email from reseller panel open that welcome email because your login info are in that welcome email so just open it up scroll down And you see some links here first let's set up our password okay so we open this link in new tab open what for that link to open it's going to be your default tour URL because they're going to give you some URL that you can use as your web hosting front end so this is your custom URL now our let's also open our custom url so you can give this to interested members to sign up an account or to purchase hosting with your hosting provider or with your hosting service you can equally use the second link as your store or your web hosting front end so i'm also going to open the second link in of them either this or that i'll open that one too in a new tab now this one is going to be your referral link okay that you can use to refer to reseller club okay now beneath let's scroll down again and these are steps you can follow to master your reseller business so first up to set up your unique store with few clicks using their customizable wordpress theme you can use the WordPress team to do that you can also select the services that you want to offer your packages virtual private service that's VPS you can create your custom shared hosting packages so all these things I'm going to be showing you how to do that in other videos okay and not in this video so just forget of this for now let's go ahead and then reset our password so i simply take you there 
able to create our password. So what I'll do is I'll enter my password and then I'll enter the password and then I'll click on set. Once you do that, this is going to be set as your dashboard password. Okay. So when you click on set, you are taken to your dashboard and now on top, my name is there my ID and they use this ID to identify you okay and this is your dashboard new clients this month active hosting clients your statistics displayed here okay so I'll be showing you this in my other videos but not in this video this video is only to show you how to set up the account how to also set up your store and how to customize your store so that you can start accepting users okay Let's go back to the welcome email. And I will scroll back to the top. Okay. These default Im uh, URLs come with your unique ID attached to them. See? Two, three. And then the second one too, it has that ID there. We don't want to do that. We want to have a domain name that is easy for people to remember. So how do we do that? Ignore these default URLs. Ignore them and go back to your dashboard. And then you see you have your store here. When you click on it, you can see your store name is here. That store two three what what what. You see that? Forget of that. Just click here to create a new store. When you click on the visit store, it's going to take you to that default store they give you so click on create a new store and wait now let's enter our store name okay so enter something like enter your store name there your unique store name your or your web hosting name so maybe like this and then your store brand this is public okay so the first one is non-public the second one is public so enter the same thing there so i'll put like this so this is public that's what people are going to see pick your store currency i'm going to leave it as usd your store language and then click on continue store setup select your default data center pick the one that is closer to you Okay. Set a default store domain for now. Just leave it. Now here, contact. You can change this contact to your own contact. Okay. And this URL, this is now going to be your URL. So this one looks cleaner. And because it's free, it's going to be like this. But if you want to have your own domain name, maybe your hostname.com without this thing there then that means you're going to be paying money to do it meanwhile in this video or in this course we're going to do it for free okay so if i get a lot of requests on how to if a lot of people ask me how to do it i will create video on it how to set up your own custom domain name so this one looks better now so set this store as default here and you click on create store take note all these things you can edit them when the store is live okay so you can still edit them in your dashboard click on create store excellent 
we now recommend that you set up your hosting packages okay so we are done and then later you can register or add your store domain name so that's a custom domain name later so first you set up your hosting packages you set up your domain name prices you select and customize your store so all these things uh, I have to do them in separate videos and then you can now have your own custom domain name hooked up that way when they land on your hosting when they type your domain name solomonhost.com and not that long URL then and this is where you can click to la open your hosting website okay so when they land on it they are not going to see this long URL they're going to see solomonhost.com and not a long URL like this okay so we wait for it to load after that let's click on close and we are done okay so let's click on close now we are done so you can see this is not your store you can see it's, if you want over on my stores and then you can edit your store details here with this drop down you can edit your store settings here quick store services here a lot this video cannot cover all that okay so now let's go to the new tab you can see already we have our hosting account or our hosting website live with all these things but we are going to customize this see that for guys registering a free account you have a hosting website that you can give your URL which is this one to them or to your users and then when they land on your site they can purchase domain names hosting and a lot but for now this website is empty no one can buy things on it until you set up a lot of things okay so guys for now let me end it here and then I'll see you in the next lesson where we're going to customize this store thank you and I'll see you later